welcome back to the channel or welcome in if it's your first time today we're having a we're gonna have a barbecue for family friends and maybe some neighbors if they show up Chad that means you but uh, trying to get some of this wood burnt I didn't cover that pile it's been out for a while it's probably plenty dry should have covered it but I ran out of tarps and covering all the other wood, the better stuff, the fur, that's kind of just bull pine. It's uh, junk, but good for the bonfire. I'm trying to get uh, that going before I start the actual barbecue, but it's, uh, there's some snow in there, still wet wood. Figured I'd start early and get that fire going. And it's doing good, building some heat, so probably steal some of that wood once it gets going and throw it in the pit right here barbecue with to get that going because I had it covered and um, Kennedy actually came out one of our daughters and wanted to scrape the snow off and I said oh, I'll just leave it it'll be fine well I was wrong it drained once it all melted right into the barbecue pit and got all the ashes wet so it looks like concrete down on the bottom but we'll get it going so uh, a couple people have seen some of my videos and commented about uh, the holster I wear, the drop leg holster I wear. Um, so I just figured I'd show it to you guys and what I thought about it. Uh, it's an alien gear drop leg holster. I like it. It works well with um, my Springfield XD9 full frame pistol. I just, um, it worked well. It's got a, a release you have to push on the inside to release the pistol. So it's locked in there, so somebody just can't yank it out without pushing the button on the inside. Had some issues. I've used it a while, um, and that button started getting tricky. It didn't. It didn't flow smooth. I, I wasn't liking it. If you didn't have it perfectly straight, if it was off to the left or right, it it, you, it would catch. So uh, I took it out uh, to the shop, and I had some silicone spray, and sprayed some silicone spray in there just a little bit. Worked it back and forth, back and forth, and it helped a little bit. I wasn't really happy with the the outcome of it it uh, but today it must have soaked in there and got in all the parts and everything because it, it's it's great now it, it, it works perfect so I'll just back up and show it to you real quick and then I'll go over some more stuff but uh, basically this is it right here um, it's got a button on the inside right here that you push with your thumb uh, and it releases it that's what I was talking about was having an issue with goes right in there locks you can't get it out unless you can actually push that button it's got two belt loops go to a belt you want to have a good belt thick belt that you can tighten up because it does pull down on you and it's got these leg straps that you can tighten up um, and uh, one of the other things I don't like about it is it's got all the adjustments but I like to have it higher it's hard to get it as high as feels comfortable it wants to ride kind of low and I'm tall so um, that that's a little bit of an issue I've got it sucked up as tight as I can and, and it's about perfect when I've got it there it doesn't really want to be there but it works uh, so putting that silicone spray in the, in the button helped a bunch it is a little bulky it sticks out a little farther off of my side than I would like it to be I'd like it to be tighter to my leg but it's just the way the system works because it's modular. I can take it off and I have another bracket in the house right by the front door that I can just pull this whole attachment off just like this, push this button. I mean, I can do it with my thumb or this button or whatever and push it and the whole thing comes off. So you'll see here, it's got uh, all these gears that just go in and a, a channel right there that locks in. So my front door I take it off when I get home, and I've got the same bracket that's on my leg right now, and I just push the button, and it goes right by the front door. And when I leave, push it off, put it right back on my leg at whatever I, angle I want. I can have it there. I can push it. I mean, all those teeth, you can put it wherever you want, back, forward, whatever. I mean, there's only a couple notches you're really going to want for being right here. And I can do the same thing in the house. And then I have one in my truck, too, so I can put it in the truck and just pop it in there it's it's very modular it works well for for the idea it was built upon and I like it for that aspect but it makes it stick out off your leg a little more I'd like it to be a little tighter so um, that's a downfall it's got pros and cons 
like I said, I, I like to ride a little higher, a little more adjustment to get it higher. And I, and I think it's hard to get that height out of it because it has release buttons on the side right here. It's got these two release buttons where instead of having to take these belt loops off, I can just hit these release buttons right here and these will pop out. And then I can take the two leg braces off and the whole thing will come off. And these two straps will just stay on my belt. So I don't have to take my belt off. It's all a great idea and it works well. Um, but I would like to see it a, a little bit narrower, a little bit tighter to the leg and where I could get it higher. And, you know, it's just, just one of those things. Nothing ever seems to be perfect. There's always, you can always make um, additions to anything. If you're looking for a drop leg holster, it's not a bad one. Um, I'm happy with it for the most part, besides what I just talked about. Uh, they're built right here and just south of us in Post Falls, so I can stop by there on the way home from work, pick it up, come home. That's what I did. I bought a couple other products from them. Uh, I've got a few other holsters as well, different styles inside, outside, waistband that I'm trying out. But uh, this, this seems to work well. I'm still adjusting there is a bunch of adjustments and there's a lot to do with it but, um, for the most part it's a it's a decent product for the price and what you get out of it and um, so check it out if you guys are looking and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, follow the journey hopefully i won't burn the meat sometimes i do sometimes i don't <laughs> all right check you later